You can easily create a custom dashboard when using the advanced search feature. The easiest way to access this feature is by clicking the advanced search button on the dashboard landing page. Every HCI platform has a different layout, so there may be different paths to this page. However, you can always reach it from any page by adding slash indicators to the URL. On my screen, I'll just click this data button as it goes to that page too. Now that I'm on the dashboard landing page, I'll click advanced search, this button here. This button appears in the same location on every website. This page allows us to build a custom dashboard. Before I go ahead and make an example, I'd like to show some features of this page. First, you can see a list of all indicators by clicking the indicator list page link here. Or you can see a list of all the curated dashboards by clicking this button. Here is a list. Now we get to the main dashboard builder. There are actually two ways to build a dashboard. The default screen is to build a filter dashboard. This means we choose various options in any of the categories to filter for what indicators are available. The second option is to build a hand-picked dashboard. In this case, you would choose specific indicators to appear in your list. To handpick a dashboard, click the handpick indicators button in the top right corner here. The page changes, and now there are different options available in the handpick mode. I will create my first dashboard using this method. I will choose all of the indicators with diabetes in their title. I'll type in diabetes, and they will appear in the list. Now I want to filter for the county level value in the first zip code. So I'll choose filter by locations. I'll choose the county and scroll down to zip codes where I choose the first one here. There are other ways to find locations. You can use this drop down on the right to choose all census tracts or all zip codes with one click, or you can click this map view button. This is the map view. I can choose a location from the screen. I can also choose other options to filter like comparisons, subgroups, or sources. If at any time you have trouble knowing what these different fields are, please hover over the icons to the left. A tooltip will appear giving more information. For example, when I hover over the icon here next to source, it shows the definition of the word source. After making your choices, you then need to choose how to display the dashboard. There are three options. The first is group by indicator. This means it will list all of the indicators in order regardless of location. The second is group by location. This means it will list the values in order by location, regardless of indicator. And the third is indicator location summary. This means it will show a list of details for each indicator, including at which locations data are available. This final option is best suited for discovering what is on the site, rather than making a dashboard of specific details. I will first make a dashboard and group it by indicator. I click group by indicator, and then I click search. After clicking search, all three of my indicators appear in a list. The first is adults with diabetes, and it has data for both the county and the zip code. Therefore, both appear within that indicator. The other two indicators only have the county level value. Now, I will show you what the group by location looks like. I'll scroll back up, choose group by location, and click search. The results now show all the indicators for the county, followed by the zip code. Finally, I will show the indicator location summary. Scroll back up, choose indicator location summary search. This shows the list of indicators and at what level the data are available. I'll return to the filter dashboard by clicking in the top right corner. When I go to this screen, it removes my handpicked indicators and only my chosen locations appear. Now I'll filter by the topic diabetes. I click in the filter and scroll down till I see diabetes and choose it. This will filter for all indicators related to diabetes. I'll skip the rest of the options and choose search to see what appears in the results. I scroll back down and click search. And as you can see, the results are exactly the same as before. I have one last thing to show, and that is how to share this custom dashboard with others. After making the dashboard of your choice, please click save a link to the search and a box will appear. This box has a URL that you can copy and paste in order to share with others. Click here, save a link to the search. Here is the pop-up. Thank you for watching this video and visiting the Help Center.